I'm Keisha Ariel, the founder of Here We Grow, and in this video, we are going to talk about the top hair and scalp concerns of men and women with Afro textured hair. So if that's you, tap in and let me know if you can relate. So first on the list is breakage. Now tight curls, like our beautiful four type hair, is prone to snapping when brushed incorrectly or over manipulated. So what we want to do is avoid aggressively brushing our hair and also over manipulating our hair. Get your hands out your hair girl. You don't need to have your hand in your hair all the time. Now what we want to do to prevent this as well is trim our ends because sometimes, not sometimes, all the time, if you leave your split ends without trimming them, that would also lead to breakage. Now, once you have trimmed your ends, what you wanna do is make sure you use oils to nourish and strengthen your hair strands. And additionally, at nighttime, girl, you wanna throw on a satin scarf to prevent any further damage and any further breakage. So next on the list is dryness. Now, a lack of moisture will lead to brittle hair strands, which also leads to breakage. So what we wanna do here is avoid like excess heat styling because that will strip all the moisture out of your hair strands. Additionally, you wanna make sure that you're deep conditioning your hair at least one to two times per week to seal that hydration back into your hair strands. On top of that, you want to avoid ingredients like sulfates, which literally strip the oils from your hair. And the oils in your hair help to seal the moisture in. So you wanna make sure you read the ingredient list, okay? And also, you wanna consider using humidifiers or steamers on your hair. Next up, we have thinning edges. Now, traction alopecia is the culprit for thinning hairline. So we want to avoid those ponytails, those pigtails, those tight hairstyles because it's not doing us any favors. It's literally ripping out our edges, whether it's at the front, the side, or the back. Now what you want to do to combat this is massage any growth serums or growth oils into the area daily so that you can stimulate the hair follicles so that it can start producing new growth. And also, when these new growths start coming through, to protect those even further, you want to also use a satin scarf to cover your hair at night. Next up, we have dandruff. Now, are you familiar with the dry, irritating scalp flakes that seem to pop up on your scalp about two to three days after washing your hair that got you wondering wait a minute didn't i oil my scalp when i washed my hair about two three days ago yes I'm speaking from experience. Now, what I did to combat my scalp issues was using shampoos that contain tea tree, mint, or charcoal that fight off the fungal causes of dandruff. And you wanna follow up with using oil blends to moisturize your scalp. Additionally, whilst you are washing your hair, you know, on your wash day, you wanna make sure that you're exfoliating your scalp to get rid of any flakes to allow for when you put the oil onto your scalp to nourish and moisturize your scalp to prevent these flakes from coming. So among the top hair and scalp concerns of people with textured hair like myself is shedding. Now, hair naturally sheds about 100 strands daily, but if there is an excess amount of shedding, then there may be an issue. So what we wanna do here now is check for like stress or nutritional deficiencies or postpartum changes. Yes, moms, I know about that very much okay so what we want to do here is make sure that we are taking our daily recommended nutrients in through our foods or juicing or smoothies etc and also we can use oils like castor oil or rosemary oil amongst others to stimulate new growth in our hair follicles. So next on the list is frizz. And as we know, humid weather causes our hair to puff up 
and frizz out. So you want to use anti-humectant gels and creams to um, help prevent that. So you want to look at ingredients like shea butter. And also ladies, you can diffuse your hair upside down to add some volume and definition as well. Now, the next top concern is detangling. Of course, yes detangling now when you're detangling you definitely want to make sure you're detangling your hair in sections okay please detangle in sections and start from the bottom additionally you want to use um, conditioner like a leave-in conditioner on your hair or even water because I personally find it so much easier to detangle my hair when it is wet when it is dry you're going to lose a lot more hair and your hair will break again going back to the first point of breakage our hair is intertwined with each other and if we are just yanking at our hair it is going to break so you want to detangle your hair start at the bottom section your hair ladies it work wonders okay and you want for it to be wet so that the comb can glide through you also want to use white tooth combs do not use those combs with all the the you know everything the teeth stacked together you want some space in between okay so definitely please i found that it reduced the pain as well when you detangle your hair when it is wet and also at the end you probably want to just run through run some cool cold water through your hair probably not too cold okay so that it could tighten your cuticles now another concern is shrinkage now ladies and gentlemen let me inform you that shrinkage is a sign of healthy hair okay i know the shrinkage can make it appear that our hair is not as long as we know it is but shrinkage is a sign that you have elasticity your hair is absorbing the water and is shrinking it's just loving on all that moisture that hydration that just entered the cuticles and seep through to the medulla which is where most of the moisture is in your hair strand so don't be afraid of shrinkage it is beautiful okay now what you want to do as well is um, you wear a twist out as well if you want to show off the the length okay keep your hair in twist stretch your hair out so that it can show off the length after you have moisturized your hair and then you take it out so next on the list is scalp discoloration now the scalp discoloration is coming from the relaxers now i am not a big fan of relaxers i used to wear my hair in a relaxer when i was much younger but i do not wear them anymore because they are causing a lot of damage not only to the scalp by causing scalp discoloration or burning when you leave the relaxer on your scalp for too long um, they also really damage the um, protein structure in your hair strands which is what causes your hair to remain straight you are actually damaging your hair and also continually relaxing your hair it damages the hair follicles and it can lead to hair loss so my thing is to avoid it now if you are dealing with um, scalp discoloration you want to use healing oils like vitamin e oil and also lavender essential oil again when you're using essential oils you want to make sure that you're mixing it with a carrier oil now last but not least on our top hair and scalp concerns that men and women with textured hair face is follicle damage. Now you definitely want to limit the use of chemical processes on your hair, just like relaxers as we've spoken about in the last point. You want to limit those to at least about six to eight weeks in between. You want to allow for your scalp and your follicles to recover because again, when you're putting these chemicals on your hair strands, we know we're trying to get to the very root and the root is right there at the scalp. And that can damage the hair follicle because the hair follicle is in the third layer of skin um, on our body or scalp 
everywhere right so we want to make sure that we're allowing time for the follicles to recover and also you can use deep conditioners in between or after chemical processes just so that you can strengthen your hair strands and allow your hair to have a chance <laughs> Okay, so that's it for today. I hope you found today's video very informative and very helpful. And also, let me know if you can relate to any of these top hair and scalp concerns. Because to be honest, I literally can relate to almost every single one. So let me know how many are relatable to you. And in the next one, we may discuss some more. So until then, I'll see you in the comments.